Hello. I saw earlier a thing trending called Vlogtober. And the concept of it is that you do a vlog every day for the whole of October. Um, I always think I should be more creative. And I always start off on great projects. Then I always self-sabotage and stop doing them. So I thought, no, I will do Vlogtober. It's quite late. It seems to be quite short. And I think, I imagine probably most of the videos I do probably will be quite short. And, and probably unwatched. Except by me. Um... Well, I do actually have, historically, I have some videos on YouTube with me chasing a lamb in a zoo in Prague in 2007. One of me doing stand-up, which I probably wouldn't share because it was a long time ago. And I think, like a lot of comedy, amateur comedy, it's like nearly 10 years old. It's quite misogynistic. I won't do that now. A video of me drunk, shouting I love you at Polish people I'm at a bus stop. And a video of me in um, a boxing match from a few weekends, which I haven't brought myself to watch. That what went online. I did the boxing match about three or four weeks ago. Um, and I haven't dared watch it. And I've still got an injury. I've still got a sprained this wrist here. This one. It's still sprained. So it's still quite painful. Um, I imagine I'll talk about that at some point as well. So I did a a boxing match for cancer research and I won but that's not the point it was a really interesting experience um, it's a brutal sport I've never been a massive like athlete I'm alright I'm modestly fit I'm modestly strong um, but boxing is a brutal brutal sport I got injured a lot doing that I, um, I got bruised ribs or broken ribs they don't, they don't x-ray you I'm just going to check you out and go, it's broken or it's bruised. Um, oh man, it was painful. Even like probably two weeks, two weeks after with quite a lot of discomfort. It's also a very addictive sport. Well, I imagine anything is when you get into it. Um, and so I'm desperate to do it again. I mean, I'm not because it's quite, it ended up costing quite a lot of money to do. I think it cost me about 200 quid, 300 quid. Part of that was equipment. I've got that now. Um, we just play like, sell tickets, so I'm thinking next next summer. And the fitness aspect of it's crazy. You have to be so fit. And not like you can get a fit in terms of you can run and you can lift weights and stuff like that, which I think I probably got. I can I'm all right running, pretty strong. But this is really explosive fitness that you need. Um, but enough of that, I'm really picking away a blog already. So, yes, I'm going to try and do it every every day. Because um, why not? I, you know, I tried to, I was going to start blogging and I wrote one blog. And something kind of bad happened, which I'll probably discuss at some point because I need something to talk about. Um, but now there's a light behind me. This is my kitchen. So that's a tea towel. What's that? It's a jar of mango chutney. Let me show you. Just the cheap stuff. Just the cheap stuff. Made some curried mints earlier. Tasted like shit. I'm in the kitchen. I want to. This is against. I'm convinced here to make this video. And I'm going to move that. Make a cup of tea. Because I have this little teapot. That's the top of it. There it is. My little teapot here. There's a little teapot. It's a delicious tea, which I'll show you. I'm leaning this against it. Oh. It's Yorkshire tea infused with the flavour of biscuits, which my wife told me about, and I was like, bullshit. I ain't falling for that. Tea flavoured like biscuits, motherfucker. And um, egg on my face, or tea bag on my face. Um, <laughs> tea bag, tea bagging. Um, and it existed. So there you go. That's enough for day one because I'm watching an interesting program about chefs making snacks. I didn't watch Bake Off, it's not my thing anymore. But there we go. So if I want to get it exactly to end on like five minutes, four, three, two, one.